Okay, I hope you can hear me. Today I'm making a tutorial on how to make life bars, power bars, uh, portrait holders, and other stuff for Mugen. That'll be one uh, tutorial in the series. Uh, the first thing you need to know is that to make a life bar, you need three images, three separate images. First, uh, this right here on the screen, not this, but this over here. This is going to be the holder for the portrait, uh, life bar, and power bar, and uh, the win icons. Now, the first thing you need to do is make the images, and I did a tutorial. Well, I showed you how I did this. There's no sound in that one. But, um, the first thing I'll show you is the win icon. This is uh, the win icon. It's a separate image. You need to only make one. Uh, you can repeat them in the, when you uh, code it. Uh, first uh, image is a life bar. This is uh, the bar. This is what you'll see when you have full health. When you get hit, you'll see this bar. You won't see all, but usually you'll see like a combination of the two. And when you have all your life missing, you'll see this bar. So the three images, they all need to be PCX files and they all need to be indexed. Um, for simultaneous um, fights, you need uh, you need uh, a lot more images. You'll need three images for the top bar and three images for the bottom bar. So let me. This is the simultaneous top bar, and this is a full life. Um, when you get hit, you will see this bar. This will be P1, player 1. And when you're dead, you will see this bar. This is player 1's um, dead bar. For player 3, there's the bottom bar. Uh, full life. There's getting hit. And there's dead. All together, it should look decent. Uh, I have a tendency to make some strange life bars. This is what it would look like in the beginning of the match. So, now that you've made all your images for the bars, there's a couple others that you need to make. Uh, you need to make a clock. These are some fake numbers up here. You have to make the numbers as well, but I'm going to do a separate tutorial on that because it involves using uh, font, uh, bitmap font imaging, a bitmap font program, and uh, but you still need to make the the numbers in some sort of image editing ed, image editing program. I'm using Adobe Photoshop, but you will need one other program. And that program is GIMP. The reason why you will need GIMP is because if you don't have it, it could be a lot more difficult to um, index the color. So the background, whatever, that's not coming up. The background color, which is going to be invisible, needs to be uh, indexed properly. And this can be difficult in you and a lot of people messed up. It makes it so much easier so you don't have to go through uh, any problems. Now on this simultaneous dead uh, life bar, this color right here, this is going to be transparent in Mugen. I have to index it first. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Let's see. Oh. Um, the power bar. This is 
my power bar. There's usually two images for power bar. There's a full power bar, and then there's a backing image for an empty power bar. But I decided I didn't want to have a backing image, so it's not there. This is where the portrait's going to go. I'm not finished with this area yet because I'm going to attempt to try and um, use the standard portraits. Because I don't want to use a custom portrait for this screen pack. The, the thing about it is I'm going to try and make it so it'll look decent in here. Um, that's pretty much it for the images for making the life bar and a fire bar set. But there are some other things that you'll need to be doing. Like um, there's fight effects. There's... And there's fight effects and then there's also like the images for round, fight, KO, time over. I haven't made those yet. Um, partially because I'm going to probably make a little bit of a complicated font. This is just showing you images you need for the standard life bar. Now I know this looks crazy, but um, I don't make you know, I don't, I don't make stuff that looks too common. So that's the basics. Now as for uh, con converting the life bars, let's, let's do something easy. Converting the uh, into a PCX file. Let's see. Let's say I don't want this on here, but I just, I need this background image. What I can do is I'll go to image mode and next color. Yeah, just merge the layers right now. Um whoa, that was not right. I forgot to do something. The background. I'll change the background color to this. Image. Index color, visible layers. You do not want to check transparency. You'll do that later. Don't hit dither. In some cases, dither will work for certain types of images. If you've got too many colors and you really need to um, kind of fake it, but uh, I won't need it in this case. So just hit OK. Now save this as something. Save as. PCX file. Uh, I know where I saved this. All right. I'm just saving this because, uh, might be another problem. Um, now the PCX file sometimes isn't clean when you um, save it. So see this messy stuff right here? It's not going to look good in Mugen. So it, you have to fix it. A really quick way to, to fix this in this case, since I'm not going to be saving this image, is to do this. I have everything, I have anti alias checked off of everything. If you don't have it checked off, you'll have all sorts of problems. And it's just a mess. So you want to make sure it's checked.